Yo guys, welcome back to the Aggravated Kids Show. Today we're gonna to take a look at GTA 5. Well, not the game. Sorry. That'll be in the works, my friend. We're actually gonna look at the missions. There are so many missions in GTA 5 that I can't even see which one of them. I don't have a game copy on PS3 or Xbox One, so here. It's in my hand. So then we're gonna take a look at the top 10 best GTA 5 missions. Now, warning, I will be spoiling some GTA 5 missions if you haven't played GTA 5 or you've been too busy playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare fucking free. So, yeah, I will be spoiling this. And we're also not including Prologue. That is a pilot mission. It does count as a mission, but I don't think it counts for me. But trust me, that's the only mission I'm including off this list. And we're also not including side missions. Those are just extra bonus missions that you can do. That's the best Stranger Freaks missions. That's what it means. I will do a list of those as well. I don't know. But anyway, enough messing about with baked beans and penises. Let's take a look at the top 10 best GTA 5 missions. Start off with my number 10 pick. The Long Stretch. This mission is pretty good. It's literally a great mission. The mission's all about Lamar's friend Stretch coming over. We're about to go to this dude, which you might have seen in another mission, which might be on this list or not. Who decides to be his friend, but then ends up getting killed, and gangs come after them, and cops, and so much great stuff. Seriously, I could sit here for 30 minutes just talking about these people. Seriously, it's literally one of the greatest things ever. And if I could say anything about this, yeah, this is a great vision. Even though it includes this. Yeah, I did kind of feel like traumatized whenever I saw it as a wee child. Jesus, it was scary. Just seeing him get set up again, called by the police, and then BANG! A shot in the face. Like, if I were to shoot myself right now, if you show me a picture of face breaker, ah! Anyway, number nine. Yeah, my number nine pick is Hang Ten. Hang Ten, people more call it, don't call it an uh, actual campaign mission, but to me it is. Hang Ten is a really short mission, probably the shortest one on this list, out of the entire game, that where Floyd's girlfriend, don't know, can't remember, comes over, just pissed off, and just kills each other. And then they go to a strip club and own it. Yeah, Trevor owns a strip club now, since he can't own Floyd's apartment now after, yeah, that happened. And that's the mission. I was really gonna hate this mission, but it's pretty funny. Just to watch the cutscenes. Yeah, just to watch the cutscenes. Yeah, I said I would only watch the cutscenes all because of this mission. Especially because we got another FBI open up. I, I mean, FIB. You ain't my G damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. Please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the F is that, Floyd? You no know one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? <laughs> yeah, that's all I can say about this. And the guy was so bad inside my camera. <laughs> yeah, but that mission doesn't actually count, but I actually do count it. Anyway, let me fix this camera. Thank you, Trevor, for being ass. Anyway, coming in at my number eight spot, May Shop. Some of these. I'm obviously gonna pick for my number 8 is Daisogo. Not that shocking to you, but I love this mission. It's super funny. With a scene where Michael smashes Jimmy's TV. Not kidding. But this mission is so funny because the mission is about him trying to go bike race with Jimmy. But then, seeing Tracy with yacht people, guess what? Tries to get her back. While well, getting chased by yacht people. Oh my god. The plot is so stupid, but funny. Does make this mission a great mission. And why is I not to make a review on this? Well, because. Do you know I think I spent 35 minutes for a Resident Evil 2 remake? No. But I will review this as probably a 100th episode. You may not know. Stay tuned. But this mission is technically funny as hell. Funny, bunny, honey. And one more thing about this mission. 
I don't have to say anything. Just, Mike, Michael's just a psychopath. Well, not really. He's a funny psychopath. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty funny when you see Jimmy deserve his punishments. It's like making a super lead. Ah! But anyway, my number seven pick is actually not even breaking a rule, but it's probably not part of the missions, but it counts anyway. Number seven. Yeah, many sub. <laughs> yeah, many sub is one of my favorite missions. Why is that? Because many sub is freaking funny. Well, it's not funny. It's actually a pretty short mission, like 11 minutes. But hang time's only like six, so it counts anyway. But no, mini sub is the mission where you have to retract the sub for the very other house. Which unfortunately is not on this list. But I will include one more move. Only one heist for this list. One heist. This mission is freaking good. I love this part. In all terms. It's a great freaking little mission. With my boy Trevor. How many times I do a Wade voice? The main sub is a pretty clever mission. Also pretty impossible though. Because you can't see shit, Captain. Can't see. Yeah, I did say. Yeah, May Sub is my number seventh pick. But my number six pick might even else shock you. Paratlin 101. I mean, Paratlin 101. Yeah, this is also a very short mission. It's part of the Michael Save series. Amanda with her sister and with Jimmy. But this one's probably my favorite out of the others. Yeah, I know, I'm breaking another rule on my list. That's really great. It's a really fun mission. Of, it's really boring for some people, but people, I love this mission. Here comes the top 10 missions I like in GTA, but no one else does. But this mission is pretty cool, and I can talk about it a little bit. Now, this mission is about you saving Jimmy from traitors trying to kill him for looking up stuff on the internet. Keep your internet away from the people. We'll see what I have. Yeah, hopefully don't look at Michael. Porn! Porn! He has a lot of weird stuff. I don't know what to do. I must fling up to rescue. I must save you. But that's it. That's all the mission is. But really, it's number six. Yikes, guys. I'm sure that because of this. Anyway, my number five, four, three, two, and one picks are actually nearly at the late and middle part of the mission. So yeah, the long stretch is the only one to get. But anyway, my fifth favorite, the fifth best GTA 5 mission is... <gasps> legal Trouble. Yeah, Legal Trouble is one of my picks. Legal Trouble is a mission where Molly, Devin's assistant, runs with the, runs with the tape. Surprise. Yeah. And Michael tries to stop her and gets back his film that he works on. Which is pretty proud of Michael. He's trying to do something for his family, right? But the way she dies is probably a murder traumatizing thing I have. It's literally one of the most grossest deaths ever. I mean, Trevor's death was bad. So was Michael's, but I never got to lose. But this? You want to see it. But you're going to see it after this. But when we get to the last four, oh boy, oh boy, he's gonna get better than this. But that death is gruesome. And after Molly dies, you have to try to escape the police. Like every normal thing, every nearly every GTA mission involves you escaping the police. And that's what the mission is. First off, Molly gets the police on her. Yeah, the police go after her to calm down. With freaking moves. Yeah, we got the breaking news chapter while 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 this stuff is happening. <laughs> He's a psychopath! Hey, hey, hey! Oh, oh, hey, hey, hey. Coming. Oh, stop! Look out! Oh. <laughs> 
Quickly, this has been Watson number four before I go crazy. Barry the Hatchet. Yeah. Fuck you. you would predict hey, that this would be going? on here. You know where I'm going. Fuck yeah. You. You Who would predict this would be on there? Yeah. You would predict that I'll have this. I love this mission. It's literally one of the missions I have loved the most. It's not my favorite, but it's the one I had the most time playing. The most. Because in the mission, Trevor tries to find out Michael's secrets of how he's still alive. So he goes back to North Yankton for the Polak mission and tries to find out the dead body. But realizing that I continues on with my number three pick. But yeah. You want to know. You want to know Trevor's reaction. And you want to know Trevor's reaction to it. I can show the whole chat right now, but I can't. But the mission still has some great plot twists to it. Like when you play as Trevor, you're going to the Sandy Shores airfield. But when you're playing as Michael, you go to the airport. There's a lot of twists of both. You can play as Michael or Trevor, but you'll still be Michael at the end. And even Dave makes a quick appearance. But before I say my number three, let's just give GTA 5 a salvage. But anyway, my number three pick is actually the continuation of Bury the Hatchet. Fresh Meat. Yeah, the second part between Bury the Hatchet. Why is this number three? Because I love this mission. It's basically Franklin has to find Michael before he gets killed by butcher people and gets butchered in the pork. Yay, Pam Pigs are gonna be ready. And this mission is kind of impossible for me. I call it one of the hardest missions ever because you can't use your map, you have to use a dial. Which is pretty cool. And you go to check on Michael of what he's doing inside. Yeah. Yeah. It just does that. But seriously, I love fresh meat. And the same where Trevor falls over, I find, I kind of find that funny. Actually, yeah, I kind of so funny. I can't, I mean, it's so funny that it's literally great. So yeah, whenever we get to number one, I'm going to show up the honorable mention. Oh, my N-word, huh? <laughs> what What's up, up homie, huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> what a... <laughs> Trevor, watch your step next time. Anyway, my second favorite GTA 5 mission is... The Polito score. Yep, the Polito score. The second to final heist. I told you one heist would be on this list. And this one's my favorite out of all of them. It's not my favorite mission, but it's one of my favorite. And this mission is awesome. You're basically robbing the Polito bank. But what gets more cool, that they come out with... Armor suits and machine guns. That is awesome. This one makes this a great heist. That's what made me play more GTA. It's literally one of the best heists ever. And seriously, everyone's involved. FBI open up. And it's so good. It makes you want to. I mean, look at some of it. You guys want to have to be careful about this mission because this mission has a lot. So. Yeah, it's just this one cutscene of you just stealing money. Yeah, but look at the scene right here. See? Ha <laughs> ha! Sweet mother shit. Right, fuck. See, so, yeah, the Plato score was my second favorite GTA 5 mission and my favorite heist. But my number one favorite GTA 5 mission of all time is. Oh, by the way, here are some of the honorable mentions GTA 5 missions up here. But my number one pick is I'm gonna give you a hint. Do you want a hint? Yeah. And the hint is. 
I can give you a hint. The hint is an introduction to a character. The final character. Yep, my number one pick is Mr. Phelps. The introduction of Trevor, I mean, Trevor Phillips. I love this mission so much. It's literally one of the best missions. And the mission story is, he's going to try and find out Michael Townley. Wade. Wade from Wade. Lord Wade. Lord Mary 777. Yeah. But literally, this mission is probably one of my favorite missions ever. Most of you won't agree with me, but I adore this mission. So I said they hate this mission just because of Trevor. But when it beats the crap out of John. I adore it. I adore it. So, I have nothing else to say about this mission. Really good chasing back and starting the burn. And this is literally a great GTA 5 mission. Come on. Fucking shit! Cut! 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 Who the fuck are you speaking to? Well, that was my top 10 favorite GTA 5 missions, aka best GTA 5 missions. That was a pretty good list for you guys to look at, as GTA 5 is a really great game of all the time. Now, I can't show mission screens of all, so it's going to show a picture of GTA 5. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for coming to see me, the kid. And, I know what's next. No, I don't know what's next, because next up, I'm actually going to do something new. I'm actually gonna go and review my actual dream come true is is next up is my five reasons why I love South Park Bigger Longer and Uncut. Okay South Park the giant big ass movie.